Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, I have a few things on my mind. <clears throat> One thing is when we go through stuff in life and we wonder why people hurt our feelings, we wonder why do we suffer rejection, right? We wonder why my mother didn't want me, why did my daddy leave me or why was my daddy there and my mother left me or why did my cousin molest me or my uncle rape me I mean it just gets crazy these skeletons in our family's closets and the hard part is everybody else is marching to the beat of their lives while we are stuck we're stuck back there where it happened where the pain hit us so deeply where the offense took place and we can't seem to get past that barrier well one thing i want you to know god didn't plan it satan did but satan is our enemy and he uses those bad experiences as weapons against our lives but isaiah 54 says no weapon formed against you or me shall prosper it will not prosper will not accomplish what it was set forth to accomplish however i wrote this to one of my youtubers god works in paradoxes he'll have you sometimes he's not making it happen but he allows life to happen because he gives us freedom of choice and we can act a butt or we can you know line up now what happens some of us has some of us have parents who we feel hated us had pure contempt for us raised us out of duty uh there was nothing about us that that lit their fire they wished we weren't born i mean a lot of us go through that or we think they're ashamed of us for whatever reason now this is what happens what Satan means for bad, God uses for our good. And if you have a hateful parent, God knows how to turn you around and make you grow up loving, oh, that much more loving, just because of what Satan tried to put on you. You can grow up in a volatile, angry, uh, hostile environment. And you can grow up, uh, you can, when you become an adult, you'll end up so meek and mild-tempered and humble and mellow, tender, patient, understanding. Why? Because God glorifies himself. He says in his word, I take the base things of this world to confound the wise. So he will take something that looks like it ought to be a crushed rose. And when God opens his hand, that rose that was once crushed comes back to life. And it blossoms into the most beautiful rose with the most beautiful aroma. And the aroma fills the room. Why? Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. So for those of us who have been crushed by life, who have been held back, here's one other idea I want you to think about. You take a rubber band, you know how elastic works. You take a rubber band and you pull. And you know how you do slingshots? You pull that thing back. The further you pull it back, once you let it go, the higher and the further it's going to go. Well, that's the same way with us. The harder Satan tries to pull us back, when God says, let go, we're going to catapult into God's destiny, high, lifted up above the clouds, above our enemies. Mm. There is nothing that can bring you down but you yourself. Nothing, nobody can bring you down every wound that has ever happened in your life God can heal every offense that has jacked you up mentally or emotionally
God says, I will take the rough, I take the, I'll make the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth. King James says plain. I mean, God, he will turn things around. I'm telling you, God is able. So no matter what you have had to deal with, go to God. Go to God like little kids run to mommy and daddy when they had a skint knee or a skin elbow <laughs> and jump in their mommy's lap or their daddy's arms for them to fix them. Fix you, you hurt. Well, guess what? God will fix you to the point where you no longer hurt. Take my word for it. I know what it's like to be damaged goods. Thank God for his love.